generating a terrain is no simple task if you haven't spent some time looking through these different filters and how they behave and I will show you how to combine all of these filters together to something that looks decent. First off is the Veroni filter. If you look at the images here you can kind of get an idea of what the height map looks like based on these filters. So the Veroni filter will make peaks and high mountains. Since the manual doesn't tell us what all of these do uh, I would uh, recommend you spend some time on on your own trying different settings here but so for now I am gonna set these to some random numbers and see what happens the amplitude is actually the very top peak or the maximum a peak can be so let's leave it really high to get some s uh, snow on the peaks and hit apply make note of this this Veroni filter takes a really long time to process so don't be alarmed if it takes forever depending on your computer okay so this is how it looks with the Veroni filter all these settings here will determine what the peaks will look like how many and how tall or wide they will be and for all I know the generator might even make a chain of mountains through the map. I found a quick way to reset the terrain without going to the new level and load and all that. Jump to the normalize filter and hit apply. And the terrain will be reset. The Perlin noise filter is probably my favorite and in a moment you'll see why as you can see this is much quicker than Baroni the Perlin noise filter makes rolling hills and depending on frequency and the other sliders you will get uh, hills that roll longer or are bigger before they go down again and up since this is so quick, I'll just reset this and try some other settings. Let's try a few, uh, slightly less frequency and a bit more on this one. And maybe a lower amplitude. And notice the difference these few adjustments did. Next up is Fractal. There's not many adjustments here, but we can uh, check different settings here so you you can see what it does. Just bumping the the value. you can see you get all these little details in the landscape and I think going all the way up will make a horrid looking landscape but it probably has it its uses yep just what I uh, expected doesn't doesn't look good but it might have its uses so let's start combining these filters so let's start combining these filters first I'm gonna make a few mountains and I'll just go all the way up and that looks pretty nice uh, before we go any further I'm gonna save this overwrite that and if anything of these fails I can always go back to that save so let's play with Perlin noise wow 
Wow, that looks promising. And you still keep the mountains. Just what I wanted. And as a safety measure again, let's save this. And jump to fractal filter. Let's see what happens. Notice I'm in subtract mode. If I have understood this right, the subtract mode will dig the ground in with this setting. And there we go. We have slightly more details now all over the place, which make it look more weathered and less designed. And we can still go into the edit mode and uh, brush away things we don't want, such as this. I just have the little islands here. So you can still go in and design things. For instance, right here, it would be cool to maybe have uh, a few buildings or a monument or even the, a bridge crossing over. And using the different brushes here we can add different kind of um, detail. And from this point you can add trees, you can add buildings and roads and start playing.